and good morning everybody. Hope you're all well and enjoying this beautiful weather we're having. It really feels like spring now. Um, my cherry trees are starting to show like they're going to have a blossom bloom. So everything looks nice in the garden and there's lots of flowers everywhere and the birds are twittering. We've got some blue tits that um, have nested in the box in the oak tree at the back. Uh, for a couple of years and they're back. They're using the same box. I hope it's going to be okay for them. It's quite high up in the oak tree, so that should be nice. Um, I got a funny, well not funny video today, but a, a, just a little bit about my style and what I like. I like such a kind of wide range of styles. So it's very difficult when you have so many likes to bring it all together into an interior that you feel happy with. So there's loads of styles I like. I mean I like Victorian but I don't like the darkness of Victorian. Um, I like some of the furniture which I have a couple of pieces. I love shabby chic but I don't like too many frills. I like the flowers and the white and the creams. I loved Laura Ashley. I'm devastated that they've not survived this uh, pandemic. Um, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel for them because I think they're going to be in some next stores, I've heard. So that would be very interesting to see how that's going to work. Laura Ashley is, is something I've, I've looked at for many years. I love some of their things. I've got lots of things in my home. But I used to go and look at the sales and I used to buy their £50 cushions for £17. So I have lots of cushions and some of their styles are, I don't know, they're timeless. And I have got um, a couple of Laura Ashley. Just let me get them a second. I've got them over there. So... I've got a couple of old Laura Ashley um, what do you call it? catalogues, I suppose. Um, I've got one here from 2006. Now, if you look at that picture, it looks timeless to me. It really does. I mean, I'd have that chair still, and you know, the surroundings are still timeless. And when you go through some of the things in here. I would still have today. I mean, some of those mirrors, they still sell them today. And this is 2006. Um, so their styling is, is absolutely, it's classic, I would say. You know? Um, so I mean, this, this style, I mean, I love that room. I love the colours. And it's really classic. Another book I've got here, which is 2004. So when you look at this, I love that table. I love that table and the dresser behind. I'll just show you a bit closer. I don't know whether you can see that very easily. And some of the styles in here, I would have in my home today. They're very, very classic. Some of them are a bit too flowery, I would say. I kind of more tend to go towards leaves possibly. Now that table, I love that table. So that's really timeless. It's a timeless piece you could buy and keep it for years and it would never look tired or old-fashioned. I mean, look at this, this room here. You've got the colour which is like a, a blush which is very popular now with grey. So very, very timeless. So Laura Ashley is is a shop that I will miss in its original form. Let's see what they do with it. Another is um, Rachel Ashwell. I love her books, her shabby chic books. She is from England actually, and she started, I think she's got a home in Malibu, and some of her ideas are beautiful. She goes to flea markets and buys up all kinds of things. I mean, you know, the shabby chic, that's a slightly different shabby chic. But, you know, cushions and things like that. I love shabby chic. And she is great. She's, um, 
but she inspires you, you know, it's, she's an inspiration and um, some of her beautiful pictures in a book, I mean that's stunning that picture isn't it, absolutely stunning. So I love her, Shabby Chic, and she's brought out quite a few books so I do have a lot. You have books like this one here which is a thrifty chic, thrifty chic, and I love some of the things in here, you know, you can just combine some of the beautiful things that you buy um, to make them look really special and paint some of the furniture and um, I've painted all kinds of things. I've sprayed things, I've sprayed lamp bases, I've, I've painted the cupboards in here, they were an orange, like an orange pine when we arrived. Um, I love big clocks, I love roses, I love beautiful, very pale roses. I absolutely adore white orchids. Um, you can make your home beautiful and one colour I absolutely love together is very pale grey with a very pale baby yellow. I love that combination, it looks so fresh and beautiful. I saw a film um, that was from the 1940s and I'm not sure who the actress was but she wore a grey skirt, beautiful grey skirt with a white, oh, with a, with a yellow, a very pale yellow top. She looked absolutely stunning. And when I saw that film, I thought, wow, I love those two colours together. So that's what I've tried to do a little bit in my home. This is another country in the city. And um, this is uh, a lovely book as well. I, as I said, I've got lots of lots of styles that I love. It's very, very difficult to find one that you can stick to. And it's just one. You know, some of the beautiful materials, you could just have a white interior with um, some beautiful rose cushions and um, I tend to do that a little bit here. This is the French inspired home. This is an interesting book as well because it has lots of, um, I put little cards in and things in my books which I collect. So I have lots of little things hanging around in these books. Um, so, you know, that this is slightly over the top French style um, with that mirror. Um, you can tone it down to however you like. Um, I've got actually got a couple of those towels which are in this this feature here. The towels with the embroidery at the bottom. So that's a beautiful book. As you can see, I've got quite a lot. Um, this is a book that was bought to me by a friend as well. The other one was bought to me bought for me by a friend. And um, now this is another one here, this is All in the Detail. Now, that is all in the detail of your home. Um, little things around make such a massive difference and that's quite French style, you know? So um, with roses, very pale roses, that looks beautiful. Now, if you have white bedding, you can do anything with the cushions, the wallpaper, um, with your little bits around, with your roses. It can look absolutely stunning. Another one here is Comfortable Country. I have to be careful, this table might lean with all the heaviness of the books. Comfortable Country. This is another beautiful book. I mean, this is a day bed and it's fantastic. I mean, you can make your garden look gorgeous in the summer, putting kind of cushions around. Um, I am a great lover of American porches. You know, the porches that go all around the house and you can have a swinging seat. Oh, it's my dream to have something like that. All painted white with beautiful big feather cushions and a swinging seat and just gorgeous. I, I love that style. So, as I said, it's very difficult, isn't it? When you, when you love so many styles to put it all together. Um, cheers, everybody. This is almond milk. I don't know whether any of you drink almond milk. Didn't fancy tea, I wanted something cold but not sweet. So this is almond, cheers everybody. Yeah, it's nice, it's a, it's a nice drink. It's, I think it's an acquired taste though. Um, you can taste the almonds, which uh, I don't have that quite a lot actually. Not in tea and coffee, in some shakes or something like that. It's quite nice, the almond. So this book here as well, it just shows you, you know, different flower arrangements, you know, in your kitchen. I mean, that looks beautiful, all that together. So, another thing as well is country living. I was very, very lucky um, by Mr M for Valentine's uh, Day this year. He bought me a subscription for six months 
So I have got the April's edition and the May's edition. So when you go back to country living, and I mean, let's let me put my glasses on just to see. Ah, 2013 I've got here. I've, I've only kept a few. I've only kept a year's worth in, or, or ones that I really loved, but I can't sometimes get rid of these magazines. They're absolutely stunning. So this is May 2005. Now, another magazine that doesn't, it doesn't age. If you look at the cover of that, I mean, you could put that on a cover today and it would look stunning. Um, some of the pictures and some of the articles are inspiring. They really are. And um, I love this magazine. I'm so pleased that I'm able to have that for the next few months. So it gives you recipes, it gives you ideas in your home, it tells you how to grow things, and it tells you how to grow certain flowers. I mean, that, look at that picture, it's absolutely stunning. So even just for the pictures, I love uh, Fenty Living. It's, it's a gorgeous magazine, and uh, look at the picture of that rose. That's absolutely stunning, isn't it? I love pictures like that. So maybe in another room, I might just have a whole wall full of rose pictures. So those are the country livings for the, um, I've got here for 2013. What was that one was there? 2005. So the front of this, 2013, timeless, isn't it? Absolutely timeless. Let me just have a, show you a picture in here. Just gives you a bit of an idea of the magazine and, and what they do with the pictures. Bear with me a second. And this, this is someone's home and look, and this is beautiful. It's, they're timeless, absolutely timeless. 2015. So let's find another picture for you. I could bring out these books, you know these magazines, I put them away and I bring them out. If it's coming up to May or June, I bring up last last year's or a few years ago's magazines just to give me some ideas about the decor or something like that. Um, look at that. I mean, look at that art in that garden. So that's country living. So some of the pictures in this country living for this month are absolutely stunning. Some of them are photographers. I think they're gorgeous. I love looking through them. And this one for May, it's got my, one of my favourites on, which is lilac. I love lilac, the smell of it. You're not supposed to actually bring it in the house, actually. It's bad luck, apparently. But I don't, I don't ever worry about that. It's absolutely stunning lilac. So, I don't know which one I go towards more, Victorian, Laura Ashley, Shabby Chic, French style, I love the French houses, I love um, some of their furniture, not all of it, some of, some of it's a bit dark, but um, yeah, I, I do love lots of different styles, so as I said, it's very difficult to decide what to do in a home. So I hope it's been interesting to you, and um, as I said, I can't, I, I can't, um, I can't tell you about country living, I, I, the how. I can't tell you anything bad about it. It's just a lovely magazine. And if you're struggling with your home about what to do, there's some fantastic ideas in it. While I'm, on, while I'm here, I wanted to uh, show you what I got for my anniversary. And I got some Coco Chanel. And I've got a big bottle of Coco Chanel, which I'm a very lucky girl. So I must be doing something good. So that's brand new and uh, I don't know whether any of you saw my videos but I love Coco Chanel so I've got a brand new bottle for my anniversary and something very interesting that Aldi did for a while was make out bring out a perfume that was very very similar to Coco Chanel and it was called Suddenly Madame Glamour which is very very similar and it even kind of has the gold and the, the white and um, this smells very, very similar. Yeah, it's so similar. So I'm just going to just see if there's much of a difference in it for you. I'm not sure that they do this anymore though. I've searched for it and they don't seem to have it. Very, very similar to Suddenly and to Coco. So if you can still get that um, online or something, it's very, very similar to uh, Chanel. 
which I thought I'd just tell you about that because uh, interesting, is it, when they bring out different perfumes to match others? But um, I think there's a, a lot, a lot cheaper than Chanel. So anyway, I hope you're all well, and I hope this has been interesting. It just gives you a bit of a, a bit more of a clue about um, what I like. And um, there's so many things that I like, but um, I hope you're all doing well and hope you're not um, being, uh, well, well, what I wanted to say is be careful out there because we're still, we're still in a pandemic. So just be careful out there and enjoy yourself, but just be careful. So my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching today. And I should be with you soon with another video. Have a great day and enjoy the sunshine. Bye bye for now.